Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. We're now joined by head coach John Newley. Coach, coming off a nice homestand to wrap up the season, let's start with the game against San Jose State. You're shorthanded. Jessica was out with the injury. Alyssa was in very limited action because of an illness, and the team found a way to respond. Four players in double figures, only one second-half turnover, a total team effort. Absolutely. Uh, you know, going in, we knew we would be shorthanded with Jess, you know, rolling her ankle and then Alyssa turning up sick. And um, But, you know, like I told him, everybody's a vandal. You know, everybody's part of this basketball team and everyone's going to have to step it up. And, you know, it was a team effort. I mean, defensively, offensively, you know, taking care of the basketball, uh, they came with a lot of energy. Uh, they knew it was a big game for us and everybody really responded in, in a positive way. Yeah, for those Vandal fans who aren't familiar with the scenario, uh, you needed two wins last week to even have a chance at the four seed and then ended up working out. You come out and uh, really blitz Hawaii in that first half. That had to be one of the best first halves all season, if not the best. Uh, I think the best, yeah, Joe. You know, from both, both ends of the floor, um, you know, defensively we were all over them. I thought we did a fantastic job. Limited in one shot, you know, out on the island. We didn't do a very good job on the glass. Uh, the first half we really did. I thought our defense really fueled our offense. And then uh, we came in and, and um, really was just executing great in our uh, transition game. I thought Chrissy Carr really got us off to the right start with her decisions in the open floor. And then uh, Stacy came in, of course, and then hit some big threes to get us even uh, even further ahead. Yeah, Stacy, you'd be remiss if I didn't mention her. 23 points in 21 minutes. Uh, the team went 8 of 12 from 3 in the first half. But I talked to her after the game on radio, and what really impressed me about her, and we talked about it as well, was the effort that she gives on every play. And she was very uh, self-evasive about it and saying, well, if I don't do that, I'm not really trying. But diving for loose balls with 90 seconds left in a 20-point game, that's just the effort you get out of her all the time, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, she does that at practice. You, I mean, you're out there today. I mean, she's diving around. doesn't matter, uh, you know, playground, uh, practice or, you know, game with the lights on. She's yeah. going to gonna come out and dive and, and play hard and, and be a physical player. And, you know, everybody kind of feeds off of that, that energy that she brings. So you finished the season with an 11 and 19 overall record. You do finish fourth in the WAC with that six and eight mark, but you come in red hot going into the WAC tournament. You've won six of nine now. Is this, you have to feel extremely confident about your team going into the tournament. I mean, you've played Fresno well this season. You've beaten Hawaii and San Jose State twice. You've taken care of who you're supposed to. So you gotta feel you have a puncher's chance going into the WAC tournament. Oh, I do. I think we really do. Um, you know, everyone was asking us who we want to play. It doesn't matter. You know, I mean, you got to end up beating whoever's in front of you, yeah. you know, to get to that NCAA tournament. And I think, you know, with San Jose, it's, it's hard to play any team three times, but everybody's in that same position, you know, and so we got to go out and execute. But I do. I, I feel like we can, we can beat anybody uh, in this league when we go and play our basketball game, and, and we are playing our best basketball, I feel like, of the year right now. So, yeah, I feel, I feel great you know, uh, leaving for Vegas and, uh, and seeing what happens. When you get to this point in the season, do you really try to introduce new wrinkles or is it more about executing what's got you to this point? For the most part, it's executing what got us here. You know, we might put in a couple new inbounds plays or, uh, you know, last second play, something that, that we've, you know, had to run our, our play that we like to run, uh, you know, a few times now. So, yeah. so we got, a, you know, a few new wrinkles on that. But other than that, it's a matter of, of coming out, executing, playing hard, blocking out, uh, playing good defense, making some shots. And really what's got you here has got to be encouraging as well. A lot of last second wins and a lot of freshmen and underclassmen stepping up and getting big performances. You kind of have a nice dichotomy of freshmen, sophomores, and seniors on this team experience and sort of youth. Yeah, and you know, the seniors weren't even that experienced. I mean, Carrie right. was, but you know, Janae and, and Adri didn't play a, you know, a ton of minutes last year. So, and they've only been here two years as it is, you know, with Carrie, mm -hmm. usually like those four year seniors. So I think everybody kind of blending together has done a good job. I think they've been through the fire. Like you said, we've had close games, we've won buzzer beaters, we've lost close games. We've, we've, we've had the whole gamut really of what you can do out on a basketball floor. And I think that's really gonna help us, uh, you know, in the pressure pack situation down in Vegas. Well, Coach, you've won three in a row before this season. You do it again, you'll go dancing. Good That's luck. That's right. Thanks. With the senior night victory against Hawaii to secure their spot in the WAC tournament, the Vandal women have rebounded from a difficult season. One player who has made a difference this season is senior Janaea Rogers. Rogers started every game during the WAC season, averaging eight points per game and shooting 42% from the field. As memorable as senior night was for Rogers, her focus was on basketball. Yeah, pretty much that. Um, I wasn't too focused on the whole senior night part of it. Um, it was an important game for us, and we needed to get the W pretty bad. So that was my main focus. 
Rogers says that the Vandals' late season surge comes from the team's ability to fight back from being behind. Well, we don't like being in those situations, but having been in them before and coming out on top makes us more comfortable if we do get into those situations. As the team heads into the WAC tournament, Rogers believes in her team's ability to compete. Well, I definitely feel like the WAC tournament is up for grabs for any team, and that just makes us all more excited to come and play and bring what we have. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Ryan Much. Our thanks to head coaches Don Verlin and John Newley, Mike McChristian, Wendell Faines, and Janaea Rogers. We'll see you next week on Inside the Vandals.